True boxer stance, you, like I said, you want to be at an angle. You got to stay here. So now I don't give him this target. I don't give him this. You have to do way too much movement to keep him from hitting you here. When it's a lot easier to keep him off me from here. You keep a certain level, certain distance. What we do in our minds is we want to get so close that we can just punch at any time. But at the same time, we can be punched at any time. Okay? So you want to stay just outside your own reach. Right here. So now, if he does shoot a jab, when he throws the jab, I see his foot move first. I'm going before he ever throws the punch. You understand? So if I'm sitting in here and he goes to start his offense, I just step around him. Because he's coming forward and I'm gone. But I see it before he ever throws the punch. If I stand in here, he doesn't take that step, he throws the punch, and I'm in here. That's why you see this as the number one defense. Because you actually started too late. We spend more time fighting our way out of trouble. You watch any sparring session, you see two guys come in here, and they stand right in here, and they fight. Then they start fighting their way out of trouble, finding some way to get, get free. Eliminate that before you ever get into it. So if I'm sitting in here, and I know this guy, you know he, he got the gloves on, right? So you know what his intentions are. <laughs> it should be no surprise to you. You know what he's intending to do with these things. So don't stand in here and get hit. <laughs> so, it's, so you stay out here. Because what we want to do is understand that as a natural tendency, we reach. If you're sitting at a counter and the salt shaker is outside your reach, you don't walk down and pick it up. We reach. It is a natural tendency. You're sitting on the couch, the remote's on the other end, you reach. <laughs> you know, it's a natural tendency. So if we're sitting in here and we want to punch and this guy is just a little bit outside our reach, we keep our feet right where they are and we reach. All right? And you throw your balance out the window. It's a natural and you throw your chin in the air. Exactly. You throw your balance out the window and you leave yourself open to be counted. Okay, so what happens if I'm sitting in here and he's this far outside my reach, I let my hands do the punching and I let my feet do the maneuver. So if I want to hit him from here, I move my feet. And then I don't have to reach. I'm staying in the same form here. My hands don't reach outside of this. They stay right in here. If I can't reach you here, then I'll make it so I can't. I don't change here. You don't want to get outside of this stance. So if he's not close enough, then you move to where he is. And you keep it moving that way with your feet. Your hands have a job, your feet have a job. They don't need any help. All right? Your feet are fully capable of getting you where they need to be. All right? So don't let your hands help you manipulate the distance. Your feet are fully capable of doing that. So in here, you want to move. You want to reach, don't reach from your shoulders, from your hips. You, you reach from your feet. And let your feet maneuver your body. 